the gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. What is holiness? Firstly, holiness is God's. God is holy, period. So when you speak of holiness, you're speaking to, um, you're speaking of a very vital aspect of God. Very exclusive attribute or very exclusive characteristics of God. Holiness is God's nature. Holiness is God's essence. When you speak of holiness, you're referring to God's characteristics. This is who God is. This is part of his essence. And, and for God to dwell in you, there has to be a deposit of a level of his holiness. God cannot relate with any man without a certain level of holiness. You see, to the degree of your holiness determines how far God can will and entrust himself and his will and his purposes through you. Nobody represents God's visions, God's intentions, God's will in any generation, in any place without presenting themselves holy to a certain level. You cannot be used by God beyond the level you have achieved holiness so you see god is not moved by just sitting to hear the word because the man don't have the fear of god anymore because i say to us that how can you walk in holiness if you don't have the fear of god how can you walk in god's ordinances when you don't have his fear the fear of god the bible calls is the beginning of wisdom so with the fear of the Lord, then we can begin to observe the ways of God, the word of God, and ensure that each aspect of our lives are lived according to God's word. Is it when when the Holy Spirit leads a man, that man is considered holy? Because you see, the ways of the spirit are holy. The words of the Spirit are holy. The instructions of the Spirit are holy. So when the Spirit leads you, the Spirit has begun to lead you in the way of holiness. When the Holy Ghost instructs you and you obey the voice of the Holy Spirit, you have walked in holiness. You must understand the difference between the Spirit of God from other spirits now the difference is that he is holy Holy Spirit so the Bible says be led of the Spirit be see you that are born of the Spirit also be led of the Spirit so if the Spirit is holy and you are led of the Spirit it means that you are walking in the holiness of God. When you walk with the Holy Spirit, you become holy. Holiness is not a gift from Jesus. Uh -uh. Holiness is not a gift from God. Holiness comes from our willingness and discipline to follow the Holy Spirit. When you listen to the Holy Ghost, you become holy. When you listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, you become holy. When the Spirit warns you not to do something and you stop doing it, you become holy. You see, every time the Holy Spirit pricks your heart over a certain thing that is happening in you and you obey the voice of the Spirit, you become holy. You see that when you don't obey the voice of the Holy Spirit, you become more unholy. You see that? So now, when you got born again, 
there are a lot of unholiness inside you a lot of habits a lot of unscriptural ways of life a lot of strongholds are in your mind a lot of field of spirit field of body field of thoughts field of minds of course god knows all of those things but god believes that the holy spirit will be sent to you to lead you now he gives you what we call the gift of salvation or the gift of righteousness which now qualifies you to be led of the spirit a man who is unable to hear the voice of the holy spirit has no capacity to walk in holiness a man who is unable to discern the multiple ways the holy ghost can influence him cannot walk in holiness so it becomes an important aspect of our walk with god that we can come to a point that we can say okay how does the spirit of god speak to me how does the holy spirit influence my thoughts how does the holy spirit want to communicate the will of god in my life so if if i am captured in the various dimensions through which the spirit of god can propel me push me compel me and influence me to obey the voice of the father then i am guaranteed to be holy holiness is guaranteed now when you got born again the first voice of the holy spirit is the voice of the milk the, you see you definitely have to come under a tutelage under a pastor under an apostle under a teacher who would teach you the basic principles of the doctrines of christ that's what you need a child has no capacity to understand the language of his parent at at, at an infant age but a, a child can feel can sense the oneness the oneness the heartbeat of his parent but cannot understand the language has no understanding of how life is what goes on in life and and dangers around him the child does not know that there are killers in that country a child does not know that it, it even though if an armed robber comes in with a gun the child wouldn't even know that that gun is capable of ending his life the child becomes absolutely dependent on the parent so the voice of the spirit of god is first heard through your shepherd the voice of the holy ghost is first heard now as an infant baby in christ the bible says desire the sincere milk of the word that you might grow thereby so what does that mean it means that before you are developed to hear the voice of the holy ghost first you would have to hear the voice of your shepherd because the voice of your shepherd should reflect the voice of the holy spirit so the 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 shepherd becomes your voice the shepherd becomes a voice you hear first the shepherd begins to nurture and develop you to a point where you can now learn how to hear the voice of the father remember what happened to samuel samuel was an infant in the ministry of the prophetic and of course he didn't know how to discern the voice of he of god but somewhere somehow the voice of god sounded like the voice of his father in the lord so god came to him with the voice that was similar to the voice of his father you know what because when you sit under a father you are trained to discern the voice of the holy spirit So the voice of God that you must hear first, the voice of the Holy Spirit comes first, first from your Father and the Lord who begins to teach you the fundamental principles of God's word. 
so in that process you develop spiritually to be able to hear the voice of god yourself and then in that process you realize that the voice of god is the voice that leads every human every man every child of god to holiness you see every time we begin to hear his voice it is actually a calling unto sanctification because there's a, a there comes a time where the voice you hear after you have been sanctified would then be the voice of his purpose you see you can be hearing the voice of god right now but that voice has nothing to do with accomplishing or representing any of god's callings but god will call you to acknowledge his voice in order to walk in the way of holiness in order to walk in the way of sanctification in that process you begin to lose every field that is in your thoughts every field that is in your mind every field that is in your conduct and so in that process as you're hearing the voice of god the spirit of god will lead you even to be tested of the devil the spirit of god will lead you back to the struggles that you used to have in the past to see how far you have overcome it he is both your teacher and he also will test you he will you know check you out because you see every teacher wants to subject his or her students under examination and and after if you succeed or if you pass the exam then you are qualified for the next glorification you are qualified for the next advancement so there are different levels of god's glory that that is, that is required to qualify a man to represent the callings of god or the purposes of god for creation but a multiple channels of this voice of the holy spirit must be understood opened and must be acknowledged in order to qualify to host the fullness of God. Lift your hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray tonight that everyone will begin to hear the voice of God that is required to make them holy, to walk in righteousness in these last days in the name of Jesus the Christ.